What's going on everybody? Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. Uh, I want to talk about dating your customer. And yes, I know I just got your attention by saying dating your customer. Um, I don't do a good job of that, quite frankly. Um, and and I, I hope this helps people to get motivated to follow up with your customers. Um, and stay in touch. You know, if, if you went, you know, had a girl went out on a date, had a great time, uh, and then never called her again. Never sent her a text, email, phone call, knocked at her door, sent her anything, did anything. Uh, there's a chance she might seek you out in the future. You're awesome. Um, but, you know, odds are, you know, if you don't stay in contact with that person, if you don't continue to date them, send them texts, send them messages, follow up emails, whatnot, um, it's extremely likely that you're not going to date that customer again or do any work for them. Um, so I'd encourage everybody to have some sort of, even if it's just a matter of, you know, hey, it's been a year since we cleaned your house, just wanted to check in and see if we could, if, you know, how it's looking or if there's anything else we can do for you. It can be that simple. Um, a lot of how we stay in touch with those customers is continue to engage them on Facebook, continue to put out content, getting them to like us on there. And we need to get a bit better program to start inviting every single client to like our page. Now we invite anybody who likes the pictures and videos and stuff and we do try and send them, you know, if, if we post their pictures, um, hey, here it is, get them on the page. You know, that, that's a great way to stay in touch with them. But you should have some sort of email or even just a text reminder, hey, uh, it's been a year. Hey, it's been been a while. Doesn't even have to be exactly a year. You almost want to hit people up at like 11 months, or you know, 11 months, 13 months, 16, 17, whatever it may be, um, so that your customer again remembers you. You know, again, if that customer, if that girl you're dating doesn't remember you, probably not dating anymore. She's probably gonna find some other guy who's willing to date her. I think we can all relate too to that and you understand. Yeah, you gotta stay in touch, gotta gotta keep that top of mind awareness. And even if it's not top of mind, at least there's a way for them to find you. You know, that, that's the beauty of sending people emails. Most people, yeah, at least uh, as far as I know, most people don't delete all their emails. The market is red. They might just completely skip over your email. But then two or three years later, when they need to get their house power washed, and if you did a good job, they're gonna, you know, go into their email, search for it if they don't already have a business card or phone number saved or whatever. And if they see, like for us, they would have received a, thanks for contacting us, your estimate is scheduled on this date. Here's your estimate. Here is your, your job is scheduled for this date. Here's your invoice. Thanks for hiring us. And I believe we've got another. And then the survey ones too. So they're going to have at least six notices in their email box that they'd be able to find us from. So, again, remember, date your customers. Do a good job dating them. Have a great day.